welcome to the spiritualist circle of light Got some wonderful stuff for you today i'm going to begin with a little bit of philosophy now philosophy is a wonderful thing because philosophy is what we use to determine what is good for us or what is better for us or what serves us best variety of of services there of applications and philosophy is not something that we should shy away from it's something we should investigate and through investigation we learn and we are going to draw this from william james the varieties of religious experience this was originally published in 1902 and is part of the Barnes and Noble Classics. If you like a good read, this is stupendous. And what he writes is that religious pursuit is merely one of many avenues to achieve the unity of self, meaning to bring our fragmented selves together. And what I mean by our fragmented selves, you know, we've got a lot of these spiritual gurus that tell us that, you know, we must get rid of the ego, we must, must pursue our authentic self, we must rise to our Christ self. Well, there's too many selves in there when there's only one person. So, to achieve the unity of self, which is its own reward, is often its own method. And the transformative power of such an event shifts one from a state of disturbance and fragility, meaning of mental disturbance and mental fragility, towards one of equilibrium and stability. Actually, that comes down to when you collect yourself together because let's face it your authentic self your christ self your ego your dark self they all have one thing in common and that's you when you do this when you bring all of this together not only do you become stable but you well you become confident. You bring yourselves together. When you are in a state of disturbance, the best thing for you to do is to voice that concern. When your mind is in a fragile state, the best thing you can do is voice that concern. And I'll share a little something with you. A friend called me just the other day and this particular friend is living with one of her children and at this particular time what caused her to call was that the child she was living with told her that she was a horrible mother well those of you who are parents can can relate to this when your child tells you that you are a horrible parent, usually the first thing that comes to mind is you get PO'd. You become upset, disturbed, and your mind encounters a fragile state. What did she do? She called someone. She called me and shared her concerns, told me everything that happened. Just let it all out. And the best thing I could do was to allow her to do that. And as she did that, as she did that, these fragmented parts of her mind came together. And as they came together, she became more stable. She became more confident. She returned to the state that she was beforehand. And this is the idea of the unity of self, bringing yourself together. Now, I know this was about, this started off with the religious pursuit, but let's face it, 
Religion is just another way for us to view the world. It has no separate significance outside of us. Once it becomes part of us, it is who we are. It is a part of who we are. But we're still susceptible to all these outside influences, such as my friend and the conflict with her child. So, when you have these bouts of mental disturbance or fragility, contact someone you trust and share it with them. Even if you have to say, just shut up, don't tell me what to do, just let me get this out. And you will feel much better. I want to thank you for allowing me to share this with you. And take a moment, like the video, share the video with your friends, subscribe, visit our website. We have more stuff like this, bits and pieces and stuff, articles. And also, follow us on Facebook for our daily inspirations sometimes twice a day, and links to other videos. Thank you once again. <laughs>